All India Radio presents Morning News. Good morning. I'm Anuja Kumar and with me is Subhadra Ramachandran. The headlines. BJP retains power in Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Goa and Manipur. Aam Aadmi Party sweeps Punjab Assembly polls. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says assembly poll results have set the tone for 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Prime Minister to address Gujarat Panchayat Mahasammelan in Ahmedabad today. Core commander level talks between India and China to be held today in Ladakh. Indian Railways withdraws restriction on provision of linen, blankets and curtains inside trains. Russia and Ukraine fail to achieve any breakthrough in talks. Russian President Vladimir Putin says sanctions on Russia will disrupt food and energy markets. WHO says corona cases are declining but pandemic is far from over. In German Open badminton, Kidambi Srikanth, HS Pranoy and Lakshya Sen to play their quarterfinal matches in Berlin today and in cricket. Second test between India and Sri Lanka to begin tomorrow in Bengaluru. Full capacity crowd to be allowed at Chinna Swami Stadium. As we start the bulletin, we appeal to our listeners to stay safe from COVID-19 by following these four simple steps. Get fully vaccinated, wear a face mask, maintain two gaz ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. And now the news in detail. BJP has retained power in Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Goa and Manipur while Aam Aadmi Party has swept Punjab assembly polls. In Uttar Pradesh, Bharatiya Janata Party has been given a historic second successive term in office. The party has secured a majority by winning 255 seats in 403 member assembly. Its alliance partners Apna Dal, Soni Lal has won 12 seats while Nishad Party has secured 6 seats. Samajwadi Party has won 111 seats its alliance partners Rashtriya Lok Dal has won 8 while Sohel Dev Bharatiya Samaj Party 6 seats Jan Satta Dal Loktantrik has secured 2 seats Congress has won 2 seats while BSP just won results of all 403 constituencies have been declared in the state Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has won Gorakhpur urban seat with a massive margin more from our correspondent Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has won his Gorakhpur urban seat by over 1 lakh 3000 votes and the BJP has swept the Gorakhpur division as well. The party has grabbed 27 out of 28 seats in the division. Also there are a number of districts where BJP has won all the seats. Some of these are Gorakhpur, Varanasi, Mathura, Gaziabad, Gautam Budh Nagar, Mirzapur, Pilibhit, Lakhimpur Khiri, Lalitpur, Agra, Unnao, Eta, Kannauj, Kanpur Dehat, Gonda, Kushinagar, Devariya, Farukhabad and Bulandshahar. Whereas the Samajwadi Party has swept Azamgarh district where it has won all the 10 seats in shamli ambedkar nagar and kaushambi districts too sp has grabbed all the seats if we talk about reason wise performance of the parties out of 136 seats of western up bjp has won 93 and samajwadi party has got 43 seats in our region bjp has won 88 out of 118 seats bjp has swept the bundelkhand region where it has won 16 out of 19 seats and the remaining 3 seats have gone to samajwadi party in the purvanchal region bjp has managed to get 76 out of 130 seats and samajwadi party has won 49 seats bsp congress and others could only manage to get seats in purvanchal whereas in western up awadh and bundelkhand region these parties couldn't open their account if we talk about percentage wise the bjp is the biggest party with over 41% of vote shares and the samajwadi party has got 32% of votes bahujan samaj party has emerged as the biggest loser as its vote share has decreased to around 13% from over 20% aditya shukla air news gorakhpur Addressing people at the BJP UP headquarters in Lucknow yesterday, UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath said that under the guidance of Prime Minister Modi, the party is set to form the government in Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Goa and Manipur. He said people have given the mandate to development and good governance centric policies of the Prime Minister. Bhaiyo behno, Pradhan Mantri Modi ji ke yashasvi netrutva mein pure desh ke andar Uttar Pradesh उत्तराखंड मणिपुर और गोवा में भारतीय जनता पार्टी की प्रचंड बहुमत की सरकार बनने जा रही है इन चार राज्यों में प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के 
विकास और सुशासन को एक बार फिर से जनता जनार्दन ने अपना आशीर्वाद दिया है In Uttarakhand, the BJP secured absolute majority by securing 47 seats in 70-member assembly. The Congress has bagged 19 seats. BSP and Independents have won two seats each. Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami, former Congress Chief Minister Harish Rawat, AAP leader Ajay Kothiyal have been defeated. BJP State Party Chief Madan Kaushik and Congress Senior Leader and former Leader of Opposition Pritam Singh were successful in retaining their seats. In the 40 member Goa Assembly the BJP has won 20 seats while the Congress has secured 11 seats Maharashtra Wadi Gomantak Party MGP and Aam Aadmi Party have won 2 seats each the revolutionary Goans party which fought elections for the first time got 1 seat Goa Forward Party has also won 1 seat three independents have also won the assembly seats Trinamool Congress failed to open its account in Goa despite securing 5.21% votes NCP and Shiv Sena also could not open their accounts our correspondent reports that political activities gain momentum in the state to form a new government BJP central committee members will arrive in Panji today to start the process for formation of government in the state Senior BJP leader and Chief Minister Pramod Sawant said the Central Committee will meet the 20 newly elected MLAs of party and those three independent candidates who have extended their support to the BJP. Mr. Sawant also said the Central Leadership will decide leader and then party will stake claim to form the BJP led government in the state. In view of this BJP MLAs have been advised to remain in Panji. BJP Goa election in charge Devendra Fernandez said that Maharashtrawadi Gomantak party will be part of the new government in the state. Mr. Fernandez said that Maharashtrawadi Gomantak party has given letter of support to BJP. Krishna Kumar Lal EIR News Panji Goa In Manipur, Bharatiya Janata Party has secured majority by winning 32 seats in the 60 member assembly. It has received 37.83% of votes. National People's Party got 7 seats with 17.29% of polled votes, but the party's state chief has lost the election. Janata Dal United won 6 seats with 10.77% votes. The Congress managed to win 5 seats with 16.83% votes. Naga People's Front got 5 seats out of the 10 seats they contested. Kuki People's Alliance has won 2 seats. Three independent candidates have also won the assembly seats. Manipur Chief Minister NB Rain Singh won from Hingang seat beating Congress candidate. In Punjab, Aam Aadmi Party has won assembly elections with a thumping majority. It has secured 92 seats in 117 member assembly. Congress has managed to win just 18 seats Shiromani Akali Dal 3 and BJP 2 the BSP and independent have won one seat each many prominent politicians were humbled by Aam Aadmi Party candidates these included senior SAD leader 11 time MLA and 5 time chief minister Prakash Singh Badal Congress state president Navjot Singh Sidhu SAD leader Bikram Singh Majithia chief minister Charanjit Singh Channi four-time MLA and former Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh, SAD President and former Deputy Chief Minister Sukhbir Singh Badal, Finance Minister Manpreet Badal, among others. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said the five states' assembly election results have put a stamp of approval on BJP's pro-poor and pro-active governance. Addressing party karikartas at party headquarters in New Delhi last evening, after emerging victorious in four states, Mr. Modi said, उत्तर प्रदेश के लोगों ने दिखा दिया है 2014 के चुनाव नतीजे देखें 2017-2019 के नतीजे देखें और अब फिर 22 में भी देख रहे हैं हर बार यूपी के लोगों ने सिर्फ और सिर्फ विकासवाद की राजनीति को ही चुना है यूपी के हर मतदाता ने हर नागरिक ने ये सबक दिया है कि जाति की गरिमा देश को जोड़ने के लिए होना चाहिए देश को तोड़ने के लिए नहीं होना चाहिए और ये करके दिखाया चार चार चुनावों में करके दिखाया वैसे आज मैं ये भी कहूंगा 
कि दो हजार उन्नीस के चुनाव नतीजों के बाद कुछ पॉलिटिकल ज्ञानियों ने कहा था 2019 में जब लोकसभा में हम दोबारा जीत करके आए तो उस ज्ञानियों ने कहा था कि भाई इस 2019 के जीत में क्या है ये तो 2017 में ही तय हो गई थी क्योंकि 2017 में यूपी का रिजल्ट आया था मैं मानता हूं इस बार भी ये ज्ञानी जरूर कहने की हिम्मत करेंगे कि दो के नतीजों ने दो The Prime Minister said the way our mothers and sisters and the youth has given full support to the Bharatiya Janata Party and it is a big message in itself. आज मैं देश की महिलाओं हमारी बहन बेटियों को विशेष रूप से नमन करता चुनाव के नतीजों में मेरी इन माताओं बहनों का बेटियों का बहुत बड़ा योगदान है हमारा सौभाग्य है कि भाजपा को बहनों बेटियों माताओं ने इतना स्नेह दिया है इतना आशीर्वाद मिला है जहां जहां महिला मतदाताओं ने पुरुषों के मुकाबले ज्यादा वोट किया है वहां बीजेपी को बम पर जीत मिली है एक प्रकार से हमारी माता बहने हमारी बेटियां हमारी स्त्री शक्ति भाजपा की जीत की सारथी बनी है Mr Modi said over the years the government has not only improved the governance delivery system but also brought transparency in the entire process Sathiyo ye chunav natije bhajpa ki pro poor pro active governance par ek prakar se badi majboot mohar lagate hain Good governance delivery iska bada mahatva hota hai lekin bhajpa is baat ko samajhti hai ki aakhri insaan ki suvidha ke liye kitni mehnat karni chahiye Bite varsho mein humne governance delivery system to behtar kiya hi saath saath puri prakriya mein paardarshita bhi laaye Bhajpa garib ko bharosa deti hai ki pratyek garib tak sarkar ne nirnay ki ये हुई सुविधाएं जरूर पहुंचेगी और मैं गरीब के घर तक उसका हक पहुंचाए बिना चैन से बैठने वाला इंसान नहीं ऑन दी ओकेजन बीजेपी प्रेसिडेंट जगत प्रकाश नड्डा अलोंग विद यूनियन मिनिस्टर्स राजनाथ सिंह अमित शाह नितिन गडकरी फेलिसिटेटेड मिस्टर मोदी फॉर द विक्ट्री इन द असेंबली पोल्स The Congress has said the results of the assembly elections are opposite to the hope of the party. Briefing media in New Delhi yesterday, party spokesperson Randeep Singh Surjewala said it was expected that Congress will perform better in Uttarakhand, Goa and Punjab, but party has failed to get clear mandate of the people. It's a fact that the results of the five election going states are not as per our expectations. We expected far better results in Goa, in Uttarakhand and in Punjab and we accept that we have not been able to completely win the trust of people of these states. In Punjab, the entire incumbency of four and a half years under Sardar Amrinder Singh, we could not overcome. People voted for a change and we congratulate for Punjab, the Aam Aadmi Party. You are listening to the Morning News in All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. BJP retains power in Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Goa and Manipur. Aam Aadmi Party sweeps Punjab Assembly polls. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Assembly poll results have set the tone for 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Prime Minister to address Gujarat Panchayat Mahasammelan in Ahmedabad today. Co-commander level talks between India and China to be held today in Ladakh. Indian Railways withdraws restrictions on provision of linen, blankets and curtains inside trains. Russia and Ukraine fail to achieve any breakthrough in talks. Russian President Vladimir Putin says sanctions on Russia will disrupt food and energy markets. WHO says corona cases are declining but pandemic is far from over. In German Open, badminton, Kitambi Shrikant, HS Pranoy and Lakshya Sen to play their quarter final matches in Berlin today. And in cricket, second test between India and Sri Lanka to begin tomorrow in Bengaluru. Full capacity crowd to be allowed at Chinnaswamy Stadium. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. अपने बिजनेस को बढ़ाने के लिए लीजिए आकाशवाणी का सहयोग और दीजिए उसे बुलंदियों के पंख आपका बिजनेस लोकल है या राष्ट्रीय आकाशवाणी देती है उपभोक्ताओं तक पहुंचने का हर विकल्प 
और अब तो आप घर दफ्तर या दुकान पर बैठे बैठे कर सकते हैं आकाशवाणी के किसी भी केंद्र के लिए विज्ञापनों की बुकिंग आकाशवाणी के विभिन्न चैनलों पर विज्ञापन देना सुलभ और सस्ता बुकिंग है तो संपर्क करें आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो पर आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो वेलकम बैक टू द मॉर्निंग न्यूज ऑन ऑल इंडिया रेडियो Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be on a two-day visit to Gujarat beginning today. At around 4 p.m. today, Mr. Modi will participate in Gujarat Panchayat Mahasammelan and address the gathering. The program Apnu Gaam Apnu Gaurav will witness a participation of more than 1 lakh representatives from the three tiers of the Panchayati Raj institutions in the state. We have more from our Ahmedabad correspondent. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first visit to his home state after COVID-19 pandemic will remain very hectic. After the impressive victory in UP and other state elections, thousands of BJP workers in Gujarat are eagerly waiting to welcome him on his arrival from Ahmedabad airport to party headquarters in Gandhinagar. After meeting with senior party leaders and MPs and MLAs at party office, Mr. Modi will address the Maha Panchayat Sammelan at GMDC ground in Ahmedabad this evening. On the second day of his visit, Prime Minister Modi will dedicate the Rashtriya Raksha University and Institute of National Importance to the nation and attend the first convocation ceremony. Later in the evening on Saturday, Prime Minister Modi will inaugurate the Khel Mahakum program at Sardar Patel Stadium in Ahmedabad. Yogesh Pandya, AIR News, Ahmedabad. 15th round of core commander level talks between India and China will be held today. Talks between army commanders will take place on the Indian side of Chushul Moldo border post. More from our lay correspondent. Nearly two months after the 14th round of talks on 12th January this year, core commanders are meeting for the 15th round today on India's invitation. In February, External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jaisankar said India will not agree to any change in the status quo and any attempt to change the LAC unilaterally by one side. After 14 round of talks in nearly two years of military standoff, the Chinese Foreign Ministry recently said the two sides can make a step forward on border issues, reach a solution and seek proper settlement of the disputes acceptable to both sides in the Friday talks. Ramesh Chandra, All India Radio News, Leh. In a major relief to passengers, Railways has decided to withdraw the restriction with regard to supply of linen, blankets and curtains inside the train with immediate effect. These restrictions were imposed following the outbreak of corona pandemic. Talking to AIR News, CPRO Northern Railway Deepak Kumar said the relief comes into effect with immediate effect. बहुत नोसेस की डिमांड चल रही थी जब से कोविड महामारी फैली थी के दौरान हम लोगों ने ऐसे प्रिकॉशनरी मेजर इसको बंद किया था क्योंकि उसमें संक्रमण का ज्यादा खतरा होता है तो इसमें उसको बंद किया गया था जैसे जैसे कोविड की सिचुएशन थोड़ी बेटर हो रही है और इसमें बहुत ज्यादा डिमांड थी लोगों की कि ब्लैंकेट और जो बेडरोल है वो ट्रेन के अंदर वापिस किया जाए उसी के अंदर ये डिसीजन लिया गया है नाउ दट बेडरोल एंड लेनर विल बी प्रोवाइड इन द ट्रेन जो लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस ट्रेन है जहाँ जहाँ ओवरनेज जर्नी है या बाकी है उसके अंदर जो प्री कोविड सिचुएशन जैसे जैसे ट्रेन में सिचुएशन हुआ करती थी उन सारी ट्रेन के अंदर इसको बहाल किया जा रहा है Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu will arrive in Gangtok, the capital of Sikkim, today. The Vice President's engagements include laying the foundation of a university, interacting with students and unveiling of a statue of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose at the Governor's residence. Russia and Ukraine have failed to find a breakthrough on a ceasefire and other humanitarian issues at the first high-level talks in Turkey since Moscow's military operation. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Ukrainian counterpart Dmitry Kuleba met on the sidelines of a diplomatic forum in the Turkish resort city of Antalya. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that sanctions on Russia will disrupt global food and energy markets. Talking to a TV channel, Putin said, Western sanctions on Moscow have begun to hurt the United States and the Europe. Blaming the West skyrocketing energy prices, Putin said Russia continues to export oil and gas, including through conflict-torn Ukraine. He said Russia is respecting all its obligations in terms of energy supplies. He also warned that the Western sanctions could send global food prices soaring, as Russia is one of the world's main producers of fertilizer. 
The World Health Organization has said that corona cases are declining globally, but the pandemic is far from over. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus told media persons that the pandemic will not be over anywhere until it is over everywhere. He said the virus continues to evolve and we continue to face major obstacles in distributing vaccines, tests and treatments everywhere they are needed. The global health body also expressed concern that several countries are drastically reducing testing. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated President elect of South Korea Yoon Suk Yeol on his victory in presidential elections. In a tweet Mr Modi said he is looking forward to work with him to further expand and strengthen the India Republic of Korea special strategic partnership. And now let's listen to our special program Azadi ka safar highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle. Azadi ka amrit mahotsav आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे Today we remember Sayaji Rao Gaekwad III who was born on 11th March 1863. He was the Maharaja of Baroda state from 1875 to 1939. Merely months after acquiring full powers, he opened eight schools for girls and a training college for women teachers in 1881. The Maharaja Sayaji Rao University of Baroda, which runs even today, was also opened in 1881. His tenure saw the abolishment of infant marriage legalization of widow remarriage and the introduction of free and compulsory primary education in 1893 sayaji rao was also a supporter of abolition of caste differences <laughs> It is well known that his patronage brought forth some of the best talents of the time. The most well known example is Raja Ravi Verma who had his first exhibition at the Baroda Palace. He is also famously known for sponsoring Dr B R Ambedkar's college education abroad. He also sent financial assistance to famous social reformer Jyoti Rao Phule. Sayaji emphasized upon the development of railway network within his state, construction of water systems and the strengthening of commercial banks. He founded the Bank of Baroda in 1908. <laughs> Sayaji Rao supported Bal Gangadhar Tilak as also extended his public support to Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian National Congress the british despised his apparent disinterest in showing allegiance to the crown and feared his actions in fact in a famous incident in 1911 when the british king george v came to delhi sayaji rao was criticized by the british for deliberately turning his back to the british monarch after a long and eventful reign of 63 years sayaji rao of Gaekwad the 3rd died on 6 February 1939 we salute the great indian today we also remember the independence activist Chandra Bhanu Gupt he was born in district Aligarh in 1902 Gupt joined the Indian independence movement at the age of 17 when he took part in demonstrations against the Raulat Act in Sitapur Uttar Pradesh Uttar Pradesh Bharat ki shaan Uttar Pradesh Chandra Bhanu along with his associates planned to break the salt law in Lucknow they gathered at the Gunge Nawab Nawab Park in the Aminabad area of Lucknow at the park they broke the salt law the british police arrested them after the trial chandrabhanu gupt and his associates were sent to jail 
post-independence, Chandrabhanu Gupt served three terms as the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh. He breathed his last on the 11th of March 1980 at New Delhi. AIR News pays tribute to the great... Matwale, who was born in the princely state of Hyderabad in 1925. He fought for the independence and unification of Hyderabad with India. One day more. Madan Singh had his first confrontation with the Riyasat of Hyderabad when the Arya Samaj started a movement against the princely state. Success of this movement encouraged Madan Singh and he jumped into the movement which was aimed for the merger of Hyderabad state with the Indian Union. On 14th August 1948, Madan Singh hoisted the Indian flag at his home. The police of Hyderabad state wanted to take down the flag but Madan Singh fought hard. The barbaric officers dragged him and took him into custody. Madan Singh Mathwale died due to the police torture. We salute the brave son of the soil. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. In German Open Badminton, India's Kidambi Shrikan, HS Pranoy and Lakshya Sen will play their quarter-final matches today, while eight-seeded Shrikan takes on top-seeded Victor Axelsen of Denmark. It will be all-India match between Pranoy and Lakshya. In the round two matches yesterday, Shrikan defeated Liu Gongzhu of China, while HS Pranoy beat Li Chung Yu of Hong Kong. Lakshya Sen defeated Anthony Sinsukya Ginting of Indonesia. In cricket, the second test between India and Sri Lanka to be played in the day-night format will begin in Bengaluru tomorrow. Karnataka State Cricket Association said that the Chinnaswamy Stadium will be thrown open to a full-capacity crowd for the pink ball game. Previously, it was decided to allow the stands to be filled up to 50% of the stadium's capacity. Chinnaswamy Stadium will host an international match after two years. Last time, the third ODI between India and Australia in January 2020 was played in the stadium. Now let us take a look at the weather forecast for today. National capital Delhi will have strong surface winds during daytime. Mumbai will have partly cloudy sky. Chennai will have partly cloudy sky. Kolkata will have partly cloudy sky. Guwahati and Imphal will have mainly clear sky. Shillong and Aizawl are likely to have mainly clear sky. And now an overview of today's newspapers. All the dailies are full of assembly poll verdicts as BJP retains four states and AAP scores landslide in Punjab. Saffron Holy in Heartland. Modi Magic delivers again as the most coveted state gives a historic pro-incumbency verdict, headlines the Hindustan Times. The pioneer writes, Jhadu sweeps board in Punjab, wins 92 of 117. The Tribune says, Cage revolves in Kilab, angry Punjab voter punishes feudal leaders. Another headline in the pioneer writes, divided opposition gifts go out to BJP. While the Indian Express notes, next on Ops radar, Gujarat and Himachal. Indian indices, Climb on cues from global electoral battles, reports the Economic Times. Russia-Ukraine war brews a crisis for Kochi tea auctions as 39% of the commodity remains unsold due to glo gloomy demand, cites the Hindu. And finally, the project to encourage cycling and to motivate people to use eco-friendly mode of transport has been launched in the national capital. Go Green, South Delhi to get 40 solar-powered cycle points by 31st March, writes the Times of India. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. BJP retains power in Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Goa and Manipur. Ahmadmi Party sweeps Punjab Assembly polls. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Assembly poll results have set the tone for 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Prime Minister to address Gujarat Panchayat Mahasammelan in Ahmedabad today. Core commander level talks between India and China to be held today in Ladakh. Indian Railways withdraws restrictions on provision of linen, blankets and curtains inside trains. Russia and Ukraine fail to achieve any breakthrough in talks. Russian President Vladimir Putin says sanctions on Russia will disrupt food and energy markets. 
डब्ल्यू एच ओ सेज कोरोना केसेज आर डिक्लाइनिंग बट पैंडेमिक इज फार फ्रॉम ओवर इन जर्मन ओपन बैडमिंटन किदाम्बी श्रीकांत एच एस प्रणॉय एंड लक्ष्य सेन टू प्ले द क्वार्टर फाइनल मैचेज इन बर्लिन टूडे एंड इन क्रिकेट सेकेंड टेस्ट बिटवीन इंडिया एंड श्रीलंका टू बिगिन टूमोरो इन बेंगलुरु फुल कैपेसिटी क्राउड टू बी अलाउड एट चिन्ना स्वामी स्टेडियम एंड विद दैट वी एंड द मॉर्निंग न्यूज हैव अ नाइस डे